Hey y'all, it's Charlene from Charlene's Crochet Corner. Um, we just, uh, it's Saturday. I don't know what day it is. It, it may be, is it May the 1st? It is, it's May the 1st. So that means my little boy will be 29 on the 16th of May. Let me see if I move that light out, if it's a little better. Yes, on the 26th, my little boy John will be 29. Yay! So, anyway, we went over and saw the grandchildren. And, um, they had a great day. They played outside with Poppy. And I sat on the porch. I was on the porch. And then um, we went in the house. And a couple of them played on the game thing. I don't know. Minecraft, I think is what they called it. They tried to get me to play. And I said, oh, no. I don't think I can learn. Um, I do not have the patience for those kind of things. I just, I just can't get my head wrapped around that. So, anyway, I watched two of my grandchildren play that. And then... My other granddaughter, oh, you see. Oh, excuse me, it's a big 8.58, and I'm all ready for bed. Um, My other granddaughter was doing something on her computer. My one granddaughter went to go get supper with Poppy, my oldest granddaughter. They had an order at Subway, so we had Subway. And then three of the kids had noodles. They would rather have noodles than anything, just about. But my daughter um, wanted to give me my Mother's Day present. And I didn't want her to, but she said, I want to get them out of my house. And I do understand that. She had, I think, four bags sitting on the table. They're going to a wedding tomorrow. So that was probably a gift on the table. And then his mother, and I don't know who else they give to, but... Um, there were several gifts, and I know that that kind of stuff makes her crazy. So, I said, that's fine, because, see, oh, my goodness, I don't know if I'll make it through. But, um, when it was my husband's birthday in March, um, they gave him a, a thing of popcorn and a glass popper to pop it in. And she kept asking me about my microwave, well... Come to find out, they made us close our eyes, my eyes and Poppy's eyes, and um, said that this was, his birthday was the popcorn, but his, uh, for us closing our eyes, they were bringing a gift in, and it was going to be, hey, what are you doing down there? Trigger. No, sir. You cannot have that ball of string. I keep trying to tell you. I gave you a little piece of old yarn yesterday. Look what he's wanting to get a hold of. You can't have it, baby. You cannot have it. Okay? You can't have it. It's okay. I'll give you something different in just a minute. Anyway, they gave us a microwave for Mother's Day and Father's Day. So when she said, I want to give you your Mother's Day gift... We were like, no, because, <laughs> bless you, um, you gave us the microwave. She said, well, I wanted to get you a little something. Well, let me show you what she got. First of all, she got these really super duper all color socks. They are the softest socks of it. Oh, they're called World Softest. Like Walking on Clouds Weekend Collection. I don't know where these socks are from. But, ooh-wee, I like them. Um, these are the most expensive socks I've ever had. Can y'all see that? Anyway, it's not about the price, but boy, these are soft socks. <laughs> I might get spoiled to these kind of socks, and boy, Kevin won't be happy about that. And then, she got me this t-shirt that is, it's called Southern Ology, and it's called Comfort Colors. She called me the other day, she said, Mom, what size t-shirt do you wear? 
I said, I wear a 3X. And she was like, ugh. I said, well, I can't help it. Mama's a big thing. <laughs> I cannot stand for t-shirts to be tight on me. I don't care if you get me a 5X. I don't want something tight on me. I'm not going to pour in a 2X or an extra large. It's just not going to happen. So anyway, she said, oh, they do have one. So it's called Southernology on the front. And then on the back, let's see. It says, blessed, no matter what I am called. And it's got all the names for mom and grandma. Can y'all see this? I'm trying to see what y'all can see. But it's beautiful, isn't it? And then this is what it's got on the front. I love it. Now, it says, um, Grandmother, Grammy, Grandma, Mom, Mama, Grams, Honey, Mima, Aunt, Mama, Gigi, Granny, Mima, Mimi, Nanny, Gigi, Yaya, Mimi, Grandma, Nana. Did y'all hear Nani in there? Anywhere? <laughs> See, when when the babies were little, they called me Nana. And called Kevin Papa. And one day we went in, and um, they called me Nani. Just, hey, Nani. And I was like, well, hey. And they said, hey, Poppy. And he was like, hey. And Kristen said, they just got up and called me Mommy. And so everything's got a, a E on the end of it. You know, a sound E. So mommy, poppy, nanny. So I said, I don't care what they call me, long as they call me. So I love my shirt. And I'm sorry I'm yawning. I cannot help it. I did not sleep last night at all. Every time I would fall asleep, I kept feeling like I had to go to the bathroom, and it was driving me bonkers. Oh, let me show you the other thing she gave me. She gave me this really super fantastic bag, and it's called um, Scout Bags, and I have never seen these little bags before, but it's the kind of thing that you can wash in plastic, you know, wash off, and it's got the the cloth handles and it's got little eyelets in it it's got the little logo scout logo i hope y'all can see that and this one is 11 wide 8 high by 4 deep it's all weather woven fabric exterior it's water resistant and wipes clean folds fat flat design and reusable and I absolutely love the bag. Oh, and I love this paper. It's got the crescent moon and the the um what the heck? You know the tree. I'm at a loss for words. I am. I'm at a loss for words. But anyway, I love that paper. So, I, of course, instantly think, project bag. Mm. Kristen said, Mom, these are reusable. They're really nice. And I thought, you aren't kidding. They're really nice. So, I'm going to find out where she got them and get me a couple more. Because you could even tie a ribbon if you didn't want, you know, like if, trigger was to get in my bag and want to drag out my project if I have it sitting. I could tie a ribbon to tie it closed through the little grommets in it. Keep the project in and then untie it or whatever. So, yes, I'm super, super duper hip on this. And so we're going next, next Saturday at 4.30 to go over. And I will be wearing my new t-shirt. I love it. It's very soft. This is my kind of cotton. I love. This would make me think if it was yarn, it would be Pima cotton. 
the softest cotton in the world. So, anyway, um, I have, um, I have a a gift that I need to start making. Miss Betty's birthday is the 30th of May. And so I've got to get myself in super duper gear and get to making something. So I better get busy, hadn't I? But anyway, I was telling y'all. Excuse me. I did not sleep last night. I just did not sleep. I tried and tried and tried everything I knew to try to go to sleep, and I could not. So, uh, I bet I sleep good tonight. I bet I might be asleep by 9.30. If I close my mouth and get off here, I would be asleep. So, um, I hope y'all are having a a good weekend. Let's see, tomorrow is Sunday. And, oh, I'll show you. Um, my um, China Hutch was brought in yesterday. That came from my mother-in-law's house. So, um, I spent some time trying to be in the kitchen before... Um, my husband got here with it, and him and John unloaded it, and he said it was super heavy. So then they had to take the old microwave cart out that we've had since um, about two months before Kristen was born. We got that microwave cart. Well, Kristen is 33 years old, and it was just a, a like a Kmart, Walmart type microwave cart press particle board that you put together two little doors underneath it and then a little gap and then the shelf to sit the microwave on so anyway they took it um to the landfill and was taking the old microwave which was just a little microwave that my daughter used when she was in college and um so, anyway, I didn't get a whole lot of time to do anything, but I did get the pouch finished. Um, and what I did was, I'm going to show you all the inside of it. Okay, the inside of the pouch. Okay, you see where I crocheted another piece and I sewed it on the inside? Because this, now I'm going to flip it inside out. And this is the way that it's going to be. And then I'm going to make her eye cord tonight and put on it. And then it, it flaps, flips over. And then I'm going to find a little button. I got little buttons here all over. And um, But I wanted it to be stronger on the core of this little bag. So that when she put her phone in it, it wasn't going to stretch it way down. So, and then I'm going to put the eye cord here on the sides. And have this flipped over and put a little string around her button. So, this, this part is done. And I've even got the, the cord done. I've just got to hook it on it. So, I've got it kind of tied up right now so it won't take me 10 minutes to hook that together so but I've just been busy trying to get my house in order and I wish some of my friends lived closer because I would sure ask y'all to come help me it's hard on somebody who can't walk who has no stamina oh and Therapy started coming Friday. They came yesterday morning. And they had me um, do exercise in my bed and stand up and do some bending motions. 
and then put me back in my bed on my side and started on my right leg and they um we put paper cups in the freezer and filled up with water to make ice cups and so they took the side of the cup off and they rubbed it they're trying to stretch like this is a, a scar they're trying to stretch this scar back out so that i can walk um try to walk anyway because i get so off balance so easy so they're trying to stretch the scar back out and they said that you know with it being so long and so many surgeries we might have to have a surgical separation of the scar but we're hoping we're trying this first and so we ice it all down where they did the exercise even where i didn't exercise they ice 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 and they ice to the point of burning and then they ice to the point of numb and then after that they will dry it off uh dry off my skin and then they take bengay and they massage it all into the the muscles and into the scarring all of the scars y'all would not believe the number of scars i have having 143 surgeries you would not you just could not imagine what my legs and backside look like um the therapist who came um is the one who come to do the evaluation and then they'll have a a physical therapy assistant come on tuesday and thursday the same day that the nurse comes to do the therapy and she said when she saw my legs she was like were you burned were you in a massive burn and i told her no and she said what in the world happened to you honey so i told her and she said i just i just cannot fathom somebody being put to sleep that many times being in the hospital that many times being in the hospital that length and length and length of time and then owing that much money she said plus the how it's devastated your life how you cannot work anymore and so um i told her you know it's it's something that i wrestle with every day um with the whys and the what ifs and all that there's just no no reason to do that but i can't help it i still fight it and um anyway she said that we would do this twice a week for four weeks and then do it once a week after that for an evaluation again to see how things are going and she said you know but don't be don't be surprised if i have to make the recommendation for a surgical separation of your scar tissue because it's so tight that I cannot hardly stand the pain. So we will see what turns about. Um, so anyway, but that's about all that's been going on in my life. Um, I'm still taking my antibiotics and that's kind of making me feel ooky. I'm still doing my magical skin care. Um, my first, what is it, 11 pounds or 18 pounds from the magazine. Anyway, it hasn't left me yet. But it's got to soon now. Because I've had that magazine for about the number of days it said it's going to take. Um, that's really all I've done on that part is just have it. I haven't really even read it yet. So, my grandchildren and my daughter and her husband were going to the rodeo tonight. There's a rodeo in town. And, uh, the bulls, professional bull riding, will be coming to Tryon Equestrian Center. And we try to always go to the Equestrian Center. And I think tickets go on sale Monday. I might have to look that up when I get off here and see what's 
what it is because my husband and I like going up there. It's a, a real nice place. Um, and we enjoy going up there. It's new. So, all right, y'all. I think that's all I can talk about today. And um, I'm going to try to get started on Miss Betty's birthday something and let y'all in it on it in on it at the next time i see y'all okay all right y'all be good be kind and what is it peace out that's right peace out y'all my grandchildren love that love y'all